Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives 4E channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. On this week's episode of Sister Wives, it seemed like everyone was thinking about figuring out life after separation. Christine Brown held Isabel Brown's farewell supper before she left for her college career in North Carolina, following the virtual gathering of all the Brown family heads, aside from Mary Brown, to attend Michael T. and Tony Padron's baby gender reveal celebration. But Tony, 29, took the lead in talking about Christine, 51, and her post-divorce dating life, rather than Yisbael's next school year. Dating seems like fun to me. It's been annoying, she told her relatives. However, you know, I don't really get out all that often either. And how can I go about being that public? Tony then advised her to vibe it out on a dating app under a false name before disclosing who she really was. Moreover, you can say something like, oh, by the way, that's me over there. If you ever get along with someone, Christine is my name, he uttered. Then, Aspen Thompson's spouse, Mitch Thompson, expressed his concern, saying, I'm worried about the kind of people you're finding. Christine told the group, I guess I'm just not in much of a hurry, as she scoffed off everyone's proposals. Later, in a confessional, Christine revealed her displeasure with the subject at hand. Being in a passionate, loving relationship and all that kind of stuff appeals to me. However, I really truly enjoy my life as it is at this moment. Throughout the show, Cody thought about his present romantic situation and how he's coming to terms with Robin Brown's monogamy, even though he hasn't formally ended his marriages to Mary, 52, and Janelle Brown. The 54-year-old Cody acknowledged he really feels like a polygonist anymore. Ten months have passed since I visited Janelle's home. He said to the cameras, I don't even know what's going on with Mary's life hardly half the time. Robin and I have this unique existence together, and I have all this time to ourselves. It has been difficult in many aspects, but what's the catch? I do have some free time to hang out with my pals. After that, Cody and his friend Brian were seen working on a difficult car project where they had to squeeze a sports car into a small truck. The patriarch of the Brown family told the cameras, I've spent most of my life as this polygamist trying to constantly fit square pegs into round holes. In reference to his experiences with polygamy, is this a fit? I've tried to make things fit instead of going. My experiences in multiple marriages have taught me that it's not a smart idea to force the square peg into the round hole. As Janelle, 54, accompanied Christine on a road trip to see the Utah residents' brothers, they continued their conversation about the past and the future. Janelle talked about the advantages of not having her long-term partner around, mentioning that she hadn't heard from Cody in a while. My life is really hectic, she said to Christine. I love turning off the light when I want to and reading my book in bed at night. He never could stand that, so the dogs are on the bed with me. You know, I get to do my thing. Even still, Janelle has mixed emotions about her complete separation from Cody. She no longer saw herself as married and is not interested in dating at this moment. In my opinion, I don't want to violate my covenant unless I am certain that God will accept it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that occurs. However, I'm holding off on finding out until later, she revealed in a confessional. She went on to say that husbands who practice polygamy are supposed to grow beyond themselves, and that although Cody really tried, he ultimately found someone who thought like him, and was more like him, and it was easy to be with her, alluding to 45-year-old Robin. When Christine and Janelle got to Christine's younger brother's house and settled down, they talked about the harm that polygamy did to women and the significance of marriage being legal. I think, and this will never happen, but all you got to do is give those women a legal marriage because they can take and they can divorce him and take part of his assets, Janelle told the group. Like, honestly, if they were all legally married to him, he'd really have to toe the line. Janelle stated in a confessional that she thought it would be healthier for polygamist women and men to have legal options for marriage. 
In response, Christine said, it would be awesome to have the legal marriage because then you are protected, considering that she had chosen to end her spiritual marriage to Cody. Janelle responded, pointing out how getting a formal divorce would help her own circumstances. I'm sitting here because my money are all so messed up with everyone else's that I'm having to battle hard to get my estate separated. I would be knocking on doors and telling people to become financially independent so they would have options if I could do anything. Janelle said separately to the cameras, Christine was able to sell her house, leave, start over again, and do something different. I have no idea if I'm even going to get anything. Christine said, one of the reasons she's still with Cody is because of this, because she has nothing in her name. After giving it more thought to what Janelle was trying to communicate, and what this meant for her former sister-wife moving ahead. Despite having no hope at all that her marriage to Cody Brown will last, Janelle Brown stays in Flagstaff, Arizona. The sister-wise actress briefly considered leaving, but she now appears set on staying put, at least for the time being. Why then does she still live in the state that Robin Brown's family chose for her to be accommodated in 2018 if she isn't waiting for Cody? she will remain for her children. Although the mother of six seems to be generally content with her decision, Janelle Brown may not have chosen Flagstaff, Arizona as her home base on her own. She considered going to Utah after her breakup with Cody Brown, but for the time being, she has made the decision to remain where she is. She gave an Instagram explanation of her thinking. She shared that she loves living in Flagstaff because of her children in a cute picture of her son Garrison Brown cuddling with her dog. Among her six children, three remain in the city. Her youngest kid, Savannah Brown, still resides at home. The mother and daughter appear to enjoy their new abode together. It appears that Garrison Brown and Gabrielle Brown frequent the area and reside nearby. Although just three of her six children reside in Flagstaff, the remaining two are somewhat nearby. Her six children, the oldest of whom is Logan Brown, did not relocate to Flagstaff with the family. After the family moved away and picked up and moved on, Logan, who was already an adult, decided to stay in Las Vegas. He still resides near to the Las Vegas Strip with his wife, Michelle Petty. Hunter Brown, who attended Johns Hopkins University in Maryland, now lives in Las Vegas as well, with his new employment as a nurse, Hunter appears to be at ease in Sin City with his companion. Nevertheless, he maintains a limited profile on social media. Although Janelle Brown lives far from Las Vegas, the trip isn't particularly difficult. It just takes four hours to go from Las Vegas to Flagstaff if the family wishes to get together. All things considered, Janelle is rather conveniently positioned in the thriving Arizona city. The only kid of Janelle Brown that doesn't reside close to Flagstaff by car is her eldest daughter, Maddie Brush. When a job opportunity arose, Maddie, who wed Caleb Brush in 2016, packed up and relocated from Las Vegas. North Carolina is the home of Maddie, Caleb, and their three kids. The couple lived in Las Vegas when they welcomed their son, Axel Brush. Since then, they have welcomed two children, Josephine and Evangeline, even though it's a long drive away, Janelle still finds time to visit the family frequently. Cody Brown hasn't followed suit. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.